Embiid, even though his three-point percentage is down about 34%. Remember, he hit a huge three-pointer against the Bucks back on March 4th to put the Sixers within, or to keep the Sixers within striking distance. Yeah, well, it gave him the lead, yeah, with 41 seconds left to play. And then Drew had a look, Chris had a look late yep. in the game and couldn't tie it. So the tip here to the Bucks. Josh Tibben, Mitchell Irvin, and Derek Collins here officials. And the first bucket. Giannis with the catch in the post in the restricted area. He's able to kick it out. And Chris works it over to Drew Holiday. Better start here for the Bucs. A 5 nothing advantage. From three, especially in the month of March, over 50%. Well, and especially on the road. He's 47% away from home. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? <laughs> Here comes Giannis, a little hesitation move, right at P.J. Tucker for his first points. He is so difficult on that little pick and pop around the free throw line. Grayson Allen! Contagious, I mean, just the confidence team-wide that this, this, this squad has here early. Bucks haven't missed, the perfect 7-for-7. Seven seven. And speaking of not missing. <laughs> well, and, and so P.J. Tucker is a guy you want to double off if you're going to double. Three-pointer for cash money. What a hot start, a perfect eight. It was well off the mark, here comes Giannis. Looks it off to Joe Ingles, his first minutes. Joe's first shot, his money. Drew picks up the loose ball. Big double-digit advantage, and Harris rips it right away. He's got a breakaway. Pitch back shovel pass was going to, to Joe Ingles. He was inactive in the last game on Friday, and not COVID illness. Giannis looks like he's got his groove going. <laughs> Passed up on an invitation to invest in Wendy Sandbrook as a good so I've got history. <laughs> MB for three. Again, 34, yep. per, maybe up to 35. So. Tapped away. Here comes Giannis on the transition. Giannis takes it all the way. Kicker roll not there. Gets his own miss. Trying to muscle his way in, and he does for two. Poke the ball into the backcourt. Short shot clock, as you mentioned. And then Sixers a little, a little harried, a little rush. Turn it over. Maxie has been quiet. A couple of buckets, though, for him. He's got six points. It was not the case uh, last season. Just about four games now. Giannis switches out on him. Tough shot to make. That's like back March 4th. There's that crossover again. Like he's left for a shot here with the second unit and he gets it. And when you want to bring it back. When you want to overwhelm with size, then you, you know you get booked back on the floor. They can beat you big, they can beat you small, and they can beat you from the three. Bobby Porter strengths it. Another look, though. McDaniels hoops in some good blocks here for the Bucs, but the Sixers have retained possession. Third in scoring in terms of bench players who qualify. Those who come off the bench 40 or more times here this year. Grayson flips it over to Giannis, who's got the easy flush. He has 13 now. But give Drew a, a long leash in terms of doing what he wants to do defensively. Drew anticipated the screen, got out of position, that to a bucket. That's okay. Like this, MVP and MVP going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Giannis now with the bucket. You know, pick it pops for, for MB, but you gotta live with that. Just, oh, there, there you go. go. There that time go. Drew Holiday went under the screen, and it's like, looking what I found. Giannis! He finds Giannis! But that's what he does with a thunderous finish. I'm a lead. Beautiful. Yeah, Giannis drops it back off to Brook Lopez. Left-handed hammer. 11 points there for Brook. Oh, both great, both great, great competitors. I think it's fun, for sure. Yes, Maxi with the runner. He draws the contact, count the bucket, and the foul. The Old Players Association camp down at the University of Virginia. He and my son, Cyrus, on the same team. Cyrus had one basket that whole camp. Maxi assisted. Oh. Nice. About two and a half left to play here in the first half. Harden had that stretch here. had, like, seven straight points. Last shot by Harden was a long two, not a three. So he's sitting on nine points. Embiid with the jab step. Decides to pull the trigger for himself. Love what Doc Rivers does with their zone offense. Six not a shoot. Giannis, the no look here to Drew Holiday, who lays it in on the baseline. Two-point advantage. Maxi over the challenging arm of Brooke Lopez. So we begin the second half. 
It's a Tucker. Finally nails the corner three-point shot. Now nine to shoot. Here's Maxi looking to turn the corner. Indeed, with a handoff to Harden. Working off of four seconds here on the shot clock from the elbow. It's good. He's in double figures. Well, they pulled the foul on Joel and Pete. Giannis kicks it out, finds Chris Middleton, knew exactly where he was in his spot. Giannis still single digits. Joel and Pete count the puck in. The Sixers team battled from 18 down back on March 4th. To, uh, a really good fourth quarter. Well, they're having a really good third quarter coming out of halftime. Red the Bucks out and they're just kind of going to the matchup that is in their favor. Gets the things up defensively on that ball screen. So far, Bobby's been the answer. Yeah, Loose ball scramble. Javon Carter's waving his arms. Joe Ingles will call his own number. Fires and hits. Much needed bucket here for the Bucks. Finish out this third quarter. Giannis is, is getting set to check back in. He's been sitting out about midway through here this third quarter as Maxi drills another. Uh, four or five teams, the three guys average of 20. Giannis with the back down, spin move, gets right up in the air, count the bucket. Body bucket and one for Giannis. Down with it, he's got 10 rebounds and another double double for him. They get 45 on the season. Giannis is going to take it all the way for the finger roll finish. 26 points for Giannis. Final few seconds. What can Giannis do with it here? Crossover. Up against McDaniels. Oh! MVP muscle is flexed. On the Sixers and even this regular season series. A game and a half ahead of Boston. Coming into tonight, Drew Holiday with the first bucket of the quarter. Up to 14 and then gets Drew right back in to start the fourth. It's the same second unit. Paul Reed goes right at Giannis for two. The over to Javon. Mid post touch now for Bobby Portis up against the Yang. Spin move left of hanging and finishes the job. Bobby's got 18. Crowder gives it right back to him. And Drew Holiday now with four steals on the night. How about another three? Two doing it both. Having a guy bear hugging while you're going up in the air, kind of a little bit to do with that. We've had a few of those calls here tonight. Not shooting or shooting. So Giannis will take it. He said, you know what? I'll get my deuce that way. Along with his 45th double double. It's House who's entered this game. Pretty efficient. Javon Carter probing. Beats Giannis, who's up against James Harden. Pump fake and finish. And only the way that Giannis can. He's approaching the most of his career. He's got 31 now for this season. Brooke Lopez goes high glass, and Brooke now is 17 points. Against Daniel House, under man, but can be with the help of the nice job of pulling that ball. Cross again. That's his spot. That was back in uh, 2011 and 12. They lost the regular season series to the Sixers. And out of that timeout, Brooke Lopez now with 19 points. Use his body to shield him again to finish off the layup. So well, he is so far below his averages, but maybe not for long. 28 points now for him. Five minutes is just enough time to, to make a comeback from this 20-point lead if you're not. Great job just, just spacing between the beat, Maxi and Harden around the three-point line. And Katie Brook Lopez once again, he's got another 20-point game. 21 for the night. Mike Traeger and apologize to him. And, uh, that's just the class that is Giannis. 117 to 104 is the final. And the magic number now is three to wrap up the number one seed.